Hello everyone, Sticky Yuta here, and today I'm going to go in depth into what is a healing tick on the Isle. So this is specifically for the Isle Legacy, it is not for Evrima. Healing tick is simply a term I use, if you wish to use a different term, by all means. So what exactly is a healing tick? A healing tick is the moment when you heal bleed, hit points, or leg break, and it happens once every 60 seconds. That being said, the healing tick is not synchronized across the aisle, so each individual player will have their own healing tick. For example, my healing tick could be coming up in 5 seconds from now, whereas another player's healing tick could be 30 seconds from now, and another player's could be 50 seconds from now. So the first question is, why is this information even important? Is it even useful? And the answer is yes, absolutely. All of the dinosaurs in the aisle heal faster when sitting as opposed to standing, with just one or two exceptions. So you want to be sitting when the healing tick happens, and it's true for bone break, for health, and for bleed. All three you will heal more while sitting, with an exception of one or two dinosaurs. Sitting down for healing ticks would be extremely, extremely useful in long, prolonged uh, bleed out fights. For example, I'm gonna use Suko versus Allo. So Allo wants to bleed out the Suko, but the Suko can significantly reduce that bleed and the damage being dealt to it, as well as after healing the bleed, the Suko could sit down to heal more HP, and that way it could really, really derail the plans of the Allo, and could even potentially win the fight, or at least survive long enough to where it won't die and the Allo will give up. Other examples would be something like a Sera versus Karno, a Giga versus Trike, a Dilo versus Yuta. Any like prolonged bleed out kind of fights, this would be extremely, extremely useful. Um, and by using it, you will significantly reduce your chance of losing the fight or dying. I personally have started using a timer on my phone to time exactly when my healing ticks are going to be, rather than to count in my head to 60, right? Because that would be inaccurate, and that's what I used to do, but it was inaccurate uh, and difficult to keep track of while in the fight. So now I set up a timer on my phone uh, for when exactly my healing ticks are going to be, and again, they're going to be every 60 seconds. Now the question is, how do you find exactly when the healing tick is? So there are two ways to do it. Number one is when you log into a server. So when you log into a server, I personally do it once I see the loading screen and I see the percentage of the load, that's when I click the timer and I, my timer starts running and then every 60 seconds from then, uh, my healing tick is gonna happen. Now, 95% of the time, that has been very accurate for me. However, a few times I've noticed that the timing was off by a two to three seconds, sometimes one second, and that's obviously not ideal. So there's a second way to do it, and that's specifically to keep an eye on your bleed, your bone break, or your hit points. So when your bleed changes, let's say you're sitting and your bleed is 10 and then it changes to eight, that's when you know that at that specific moment, the healing tick happened and you can start a timer or you see your health screen change. So for example, you go from third screen, you go to second screen. Um, that's when you know when the healing tick happened, and again, you can start a timer. Same thing with the bone break. When you keep an eye on the bone break and it changes, that moment when it changes, that's when you know that the healing tick happened and you can start a timer. And then every 60 seconds from then on, it's gonna be a healing tick. And once you've timed when the healing tick is, you can use it to your advantage to sit down uh, for one or two seconds just for that healing tick, and then the rest of the time you want to stand up, right? Because obviously other dinosaurs, whoever you're fighting, they're not just going to let you sit forever. Um, so that's basically how you would, you would use it. You just walk around, you you know protect yourself, but for that specific healing tick, you just sit down for one or two seconds, the healing tick happens, you heal more, and you stand up right away and you continue fighting and defending yourself. I also figured out another way to use it. So all of us playing the aisle, our biggest enemy is the gravity, right? Because all of us have fallen off the mountains, all of us have died, all of us have broken legs. Um, so there's a way you can use the healing tick to actually continue moving 
um, towards whatever your goal is, whether you're going to, to get water or food, but also not miss any healing ticks so that you, you continue healing your bone break at the best rate possible, because if you're just, you know, uh, hobbling forward while, while you have a broken leg and you don't sit down, you heal much slower that bone break. So you're just going to be hobbling forever. Well, not forever, but until you heal. But if, if you can time the healing ticks and sit down for that specific healing tick, heal as much bone break as possible, and then get up again and start hobbling forward again to whatever your goal is, whether it's join a backmate or to drink water or to get somewhere or to hide whatever it is. So that's another neat little thing I thought of. Um, but if you guys can think of another ways to use it, by all means, leave it in the comments. And uh, if there's something useful, that would be great for everybody to know. All right, the last couple tips I have for you. Number one, keep your food and water as full as possible because it does affect how fast you heal your hit points. It does not affect bone break or bleed heal, but it does affect hit points heal. So... The less food and water you have, the less you're going to be healing your hit points. The last thing I want to mention is that you do not heal your hit points if you're bleeding. So as long as you have any bleed whatsoever, you will not actually heal any hit points. However, you can heal your bone break and bleed at the same time. So it's going to happen obviously on the same tick, uh, but you can heal both the bone break and the bleed. And you can also heal your hit points and the bone break. Um, at the same time, as long as you're not bleeding. All right, hopefully this guide helped you, all of the tips and tricks, and hopefully you guys will survive better now that uh, perhaps some of you are going to start using the healing ticks and actually sit down for them and have the timers out and all, whatnot. And I do appreciate your support, so thank you very much, and I hope I see you guys next time, and bye-bye.